In this video, we'll learn to multiply decimals. So what do we mean by multiplying by decimals? If I get a number such as four, and if I multiply it by one, the answer I'm gonna get is four. If I multiply four by two, I'm gonna get eight, so I'm gonna double it. But what happens if I multiply four by 0 0.5, which is half? Again, when we multiply it by two, it doubles. When we multiply it by one, it just stayed as it is. When we multiply it by half, you guess it right. The answer is halved, so we'd have two. If we multiply four by 0 0.2, for example, then that means we get a fifth of it. So it's the same as dividing four by five. It gives us 0 0.8. If I multiply four by 0 0.1, which you know that as a decimal, that's like 10%, then I'm gonna divide four by 10, which gives us 0 0.4. If I multiply 4 by 0 0.3, that's equal to like 30% of 4. So that is going to give me 0. Point, so that's going to give me 1.2. So you get the idea. When multiplying a whole number by a decimal that is between 0 and 1, the number is going to get smaller just like we've seen it. It's gone from 4 to 2, from 4 to 0 0.8, 4 to 0 0.4, 4 to 0, 1.2, for example. So, what do you also notice? Look at 4 and 2, there we have an 8. Look at 4 and 1, gives me 4. So 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 3 is 12. So what's going on? Let's just ignore the answer for the time being and I'm just going to do 4 times 2. 4 times 2 we know is 8. Now how many decimal places does this answer have? In other words, how many digits after the decimal point? This one doesn't have a decimal point at all. So there are none in there. If you look at this one, it has one decimal place, so one digit after the decimal point, so one in total. So what I'm going to do to the answer, I'm going to give it one decimal point, so 0 0.8. Same thing here, 4 times 1 gives me 4, no decimal places here, one decimal place here, so one in total, because 1 and 0 gives us 1. So I'm going to give the answer one decimal place, so 0 0.4. And that matches the answer. Same thing here, 4 times 3 is 12 and no decimal place here, one decimal place here, so one in total, so I'm going to give the answer one decimal place, which gives me 1.2. 4 times 5 is 20, zero decimal places here, one decimal place there, so that's one in total, so I'm going to give the answer one decimal place, so that gives me two as the answer. This is the short way to do this, but if you want to go through the long route, you can do that as well. So let's do 0 0.5 times 4. Four times five is 20, so zero down and two carried over. Four times zero is zero and the two is two. Looking at the first number, it has one decimal place one digit after the decimal point, this one has none, so we're going to give the answer one decimal place. So that gives us 2.0, which is the same as 2. Same thing over here, let's try this, 0 0.2 times 4. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 0 is 0, so one decimal place in the first number, 
zero in the second one, so we're going to give the answer one decimal place, so that gives us 0 0.8. So you hopefully get the idea of what it means to multiply decimal by a whole number. Now we're going to do decimal by decimal, so I'm going to get rid of these whole numbers and the answers. And I'm going to replace them with decimals. So let's just take a decimal such as 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 times 2 is doubling 0 0.4. So that gives us 0 0.8. 0 0.4 times 1 gives us the number itself, which is 0 0.4. Now we've got 0 0.4 times 0 0.5. Looking at the digits, I can multiply 4 by 5, which gives me 20. Now, how many decimal places are there in this number? There are just 1, which means 1 digit after the decimal point. And there is another one here, so two all together. So I'm going to give this answer two decimal places, which means I've got to put the decimal point two digits to the left and put a zero there. Now two times four is eight, and there is one decimal place here and another one here, so that makes two. So I'm going to go one, two. So 0 0.08. 4 times 1 is 4. There is one decimal place here and another one that makes 2. So we go 1, 2. 4 times 3 is 12. So one decimal place here and another one that makes 2. So we go 1, 2. If this method doesn't make much sense, don't worry about it, you can use the long method as well. So let's just try one of these using the long method. So we'll do 0 0.4 times 0 0.5. 5 times 4 is 20, so 0 down and 2 carried over. 5 times 0 is 0 and the 2 makes 2. Moving down, so we put a zero down. Zero times four is zero. Zero times zero is zero. Now, looking at the numbers, this one has one decimal place and this one has one decimal place. So that means two decimal places in total. So I'm going to give the answer two decimal places, going backwards of one, two. So 0 0.20, which is what we had here as well. Now let's just change the numbers a bit, so I'm going to do 4.83 times 7.6. 6 times 3 is going to give me 18, so 8 down and the 1 carried over. 6 times 8 is 48 and the 1 is 49, so 9 and 4 carried over. 6 times 4 is 24, and the 4 makes 28. Now, putting a 0 down, 7 times 3 is 21, so 1 down and 2 carried over. 7 times 8 is 56, and the 2, 58. So 8 down and 5 carried over. 7 times 4 is 28, and the 5 makes 33. So we're going to put 3 here, and the 3 here. So adding them all together, we get 8, 10, 16, and 1, 17, 5, 6, 3. Now, we need to add the decimal point. So we've got two decimal places in the first number and one in the second. So all together that is three decimal places. So going backwards, one, two, three. So 36.708. 
So when it comes to numbers like these that have more decimal places and they haven't got zeros like these ones, it's advisable to use this method. Or you can use another method, which is the lattice method. And I'll use the same numbers to go through that. So 4.83 times 7.6. So I'm going to create a grid with them. separating each digit so decimal points are here okay so three times seven is 21 so i'll separate the tens from the units through the diagonal and I'll do the same with the other numbers as well three times six is eighteen eight times seven is fifty six eight times six is forty eight four times seven is twenty eight 4 times 6 is 24. So continuing now through the diagonal, we've got only 8 here, so we'll transfer it over. We've got 8 and 1 and 1, which makes 10. So 0 down and 1 is carried over. 6 and 4 makes 10, 14, 16 and the 1, 17. So we'll carry one over, 8 and 2 makes 10, and the 5, 15, and the 1, 16. One carried over, 2 and 1 makes 3. So we've got 3, 6, 7, 0, 8. Where do we put the decimal point? As you can see, we've got it here. So we'll continue till it meets the other decimal point and then continue through the diagonal so it's going to stop at this point so we've got 36.708 which is the same as the answer we had before let's try this once more now we've got 5.09 times 8.27 doesn't matter which way around we put them we'll just create a grid separating the digits So, 9 times 8 makes 72, 9 times 2 makes 18, 9 times 7 makes 63, 0 times 8 makes 0, 0 times 2 makes 0, 0 times 7 makes 0, 5 times 8 is 40, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 7 is 35. Now we've got 3 in this diagonal, we've got 8 and 6 which is 14, so 4 down and 1 is carried over, 2 and 1 which is 3, 
and the 5 is 8 and the 1 is 9. Now we've got 7 and 3 which is 10 so 0 down and 1 carried over. Here we've got 1 and the 1 makes 2 and finally we've got 4. Where do we put the decimal point? So we've got it here and we'll continue till it meets the other decimal point and then continue diagonally. So it ends up being here and you get 42.0943. You can use whichever method you prefer to multiply decimals, whichever comes easiest to you, but it's good to be aware of different methods as well.